The Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Even countries with lower vaccination rates than Canada. Provinces are beginning to lift restriction, restrictions and getting life back to normal. Why? Because they're following the science. Canadians are ready to get their life back. But it seems like the Prime Minister wants to live in a permanent pandemic. Dr. Ham, Dr. Tam, Dr. Henry, Dr. Moore, Dr. Hinshaw, Dr. Shahab all agree it's time to shift out of the restrictions and back to normal life. So why is the Prime Minister so offside, not only with the science, but it would seem like with a growing mem number of his own MPs? Oh, right, Honourable Prime Minister. On the contrary, Mr. Speaker, we intend to follow the science and are working closely with Dr. Tam and other public health officials uh, to ensure that we get through this pandemic as best we possibly can. And that has been through vaccinations. The fact that 9 out of 10 Canadians have gotten vaccinated is one of the reasons why we're able to get through this, is why uh, we've been able to prevent our health systems from being completely overrun. Vaccinations are the one, the thing through this. That's why we're continuing to encourage Canadians to get vaccinated. Uh, why, unfortunately, the Conservatives are, are against vaccination is, quite frankly, belonging. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, the science and the evidence is just simply not on the Prime Minister's side. Many of the reasons previously used to keep Canadians under restrictions are vanishing before our eyes. Other countries are opening up. Provinces are opening up. As he just said, 90% of Canadians have the vaccine. The Prime Minister needs to put his ego aside. He needs to do what's right for the country. He needs to end the mandates. He needs to end the restrictions. He needs to listen to his own caucus. Will he do that? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Canadians have made it through this pandemic better than many other places because Canadians stepped up. They were there for each other. Uh, their government had their backs. We worked closely uh, with provincial and territorial leaders. Every step of the way, we kept m focusing on vaccinations, on public health supports, on business supports. It's allowed us through. And Canadians are continuing to get vaccinated. 60,000 Canadians got vaccinated with their first dose just last week. We are continuing to make sure Canadians get vaccinated because this is how we get through this pandemic. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, we know this Prime Minister has politicized the pandemic. This summer, as BC was burning, Afghanistan was falling, and we were in the fourth wave of a pandemic, the Prime Minister called an unnecessary $600 million election to capitalize on this crisis. According to a senior Liberal MP, a decision was made to wedge to divide and to stigmatize. So, a country more divided than ever before. Can the Prime Minister tell Canadians why he would politicize the pandemic, why he would try to stigmatize Canadians, why would he do to this to a country that is already suffering and deeply damaged by so many of his policies? Why? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. about last year's election. It was an opportunity for Canadians to weigh in on the path forward for our country, on how to continue to fight this pandemic. And what we saw, unfortunately, from the Conservative Party of Canada was a refusal to step up on vaccination, a refusal to follow science. As they were uh, talking about how we get through this pandemic, they couldn't ensure their own MPs got vaccinated. Mr. Speaker, Canadians spoke loudly and clearly in the last election that science and vaccination was the way through. They gave us in this House a mandate to move forward on that, and we did. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The Prime Minister is clearly trying to strategically and very selfishly divide and stigmatize Canadians. Mr. Speaker, we live in a beautiful country, but our country is suffering. Our country is divided. Our country is tired, and they need leadership. So again, I'm going to ask the Prime Minister. His senior Liberal MP said that there is a strategic decision made on that side to stigmatize, and these are not my words, stigmatize, divide, and wedge 
This is what the Prime Minister did. Why? Very right, Honourable Prime Minister. this pandemic and what this government has provided has been responsible leadership to put the health and safety of Canadians first and foremost. That's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we talked about in the last election campaign. That's exactly what we're going to continue to do in following the science. But you talk about the member opposite talks about Canadians suffering. Supply chains disrupted. Canadians in their homes worried of walking their streets because they continue to support blockades that are hurting businesses across the country. Will the Conservative leader stand up and condemn those blockades?